Chapter 16, Section 4. The United States declares a war to end all wars. In a speech to the Senate on January 22, 1917, Wilson declared that he wanted to find a way to end the stalemated war in Europe. He called on the warring powers to accept a peace without victory. He also spoke of forming a League of Honor to help nations settle conflicts peacefully. Germany's response to Wilson's peace efforts was to launch an all-out effort to win the war, including a return to unrestricted submarine warfare. Keeping to his Sussex pledge, Wilson broke off diplomatic relations with Germany. The Zimmermann Note stirs up anti-German feelings. Wilson had hoped that the Germans would back down, but his hopes were dashed in late February 1917. Britain had gotten hold of a note sent in code by the German foreign minister, Arthur Zimmermann, to the German minister in Mexico. Zimmermann suggested that if the United States entered the war, Mexico and Germany should become allies. Germany would then help Mexico regain lost territory in New Mexico, Texas, and Arizona. The Zimmerman note created a sensation in the United States and stirred anti-German feelings across the nation. Events in Russia removed another barrier to the United States joining the Allies. In March 1917, a revolution toppled the autocratic Tsar Nicholas II and replaced him with a democratic government. At the start of the war, Wilson had not wanted to be allied to a dictator. With the hope of democracy in sight, the United States could now see Russia as a fit partner in a war against German aggression. The United States enters the war. On April 2, 1917, Wilson spoke to a special session of Congress. He reminded lawmakers of the loss of life caused by German U-boats and how these attacks hurt the nation's ability to trade freely with other countries. Then he turned to his main theme. Neutrality is no longer feasible, practical, where the peace of the world is involved. The world must be made safe for democracy. Its peace must be planted upon the tested foundations of political liberty. The right is more precious than peace, and we shall fight for things which we have always carried nearest our hearts, for democracy, for the right of those who submit to authority to have a voice in their own governments. Woodrow Wilson's War Message, Addressed to Congress, 1917. When Wilson finished, lawmakers cheered. Later, Wilson said sadly, Think what it was they were applauding. My message today was a message of death for our young men. Critics reacted strongly to Wilson's war message. Nebraska Senator George Norris argued that the United States was going to war for economic reasons only. We have loaned many hundreds of millions of dollars to the Allies, he said. He saw American involvement in the war as a way of making payment of every debt certain and sure. Wisconsin Senator Robert Le Follette argued that the nation had gotten itself into war by failing to treat the belligerent nations of Europe alike. He urged the government to remain neutral and enforce our rights against Great Britain as we have enforced our rights against Germany. In spite of such protests, on April 4, 1917, the Senate voted 82 to 6 to declare war on Germany. The House followed on April 6 by a vote of 373 to 50. The United States was going to war.